recall that last time, uh, kind of one of first uh, uh, last uh, uh, thing which I said was the following: if you have a uh, uh, complex uh, analytic uh, symplectic manifold, uh, so two form is holomorphic uh, to form, and and you get a maybe a chain representing some twist parameter and which uh, and twist parameter should belong to h2 of x and take this coefficient in the group of invertible limit in CF h bar uh, then this things gives you by Fedosov construction or my deformation quantization gives you a, a sheaf of a H linear abelian categories. On X, it's in sheaf which um, I will not denote by any specific letter. And in particular, one can go to global section, get certain category of CH, some kind of uh, global category mm. uh, that, uh, and if we are, can, we are lucky, It actually goes through sheaf of algebraid, algebraids. But if you are lucky, say X is maybe Stein or algebraic. Stations also works in analytic and algebraic situation. Or algebraic. And, mm. and we get sheaf of algebras, not of algebraids. So there's no Azumaya thing. Enter Enter into the game. Then we get uh, some algebra over CH will be AH modules where AH is certain algebra. Uh, and it will be complete algebra, complete flat algebra over uh, form power series. For example, if you apply to algebraic situation, again, uh, X is. Uh, affine space or complex numbers with standard symplectic form, uh, then uh, the algebra which you get is uh, the algebra which is equivalent to uh, This guy. Yeah. So what? Mm, uh, what is my goal? Uh, you see that. Uh, what does it mean to consider form of power series in each bar? In each coefficient, this differential operator. But uh, the or the degree of the or, 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 or the differential operator is unbounded. It can go up. And and what we want to get kind of modify algebra. And get Frank well here something like this. So it will be polynomial differential operators. These coefficients are form of power series in each bar. So they have kind of well defined degree. Uh, yeah, so we, we just want to move this form of power series in the front, which drastic change in the algebra. And uh, in principle, later one can de de replace C of H bar in front. One can try to replace to germs of uh, 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 analytic functions, so it's form power series which converge in some disk of small radius, convergent series, or even polynomials in H bar. Mm. 
Yeah, so, uh, and uh, similar thinking one can ask even in commuted for algebraic geometry. Suppose we get a fine algebraic variety, and you consider deformation of this a fine algebraic variety, like changing coefficients of equations. Formal, in fact, in commutative algebraic geometry, it's even more dramatic. Formal deformation theory, it's trivial. H1 of a, a finite variety with tangent bundles is trivial. So there's no deformation uh, as, uh, mm. of form power series. But uh, how to handle the story? In deformation theory, to get a reasonable answer, one should compactify the, the situation. So the solution is compactify x. So, uh, so we sh uh, uh, I claim that if we embed x into some uh, uh, compact uh, manifold and uh, with, uh, with the following uh, uh, properties, so, so first, first omega minus 1 on x, is mm, uh, by vector field uh, on x extends to x bar uh, uh, ah, I assume here of course that x is let's see um, uh, let's suppose the algebraic situation x is a risky open the risky dense Yeah, obviously this thing will be Poisson bracket because uh, it's Poisson bracket on open part. Poisson structure on X bar. And mm. what I, I assume that this X bar is, uh, um, X is a divisor. Maybe with normal crossing, it's to normal crossing. And ideal of this divisor is Poisson ideal. Now, uh, I claim in this situation one can do uh, some things that are kind of uh, I wrote a paper about 15 years ago, quantization of algebraic variety, uh, and it, in fact, I look at just several uh, too strong assumptions, and one can do things better. I'll explain uh, what is going on. So uh, there are two general results. Which were not in this paper. Yeah, suppose x is a compact algebraic variety. I say well, complex numbers in the field of characteristic 0. And this Poisson structure, ah, even without Poisson structure, let's consider compact algebraic variety. Uh, this deformation quantization uh, Identified two uh, things. I, uh, 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 you consider on X two shifts of differential graded Lie algebras. Uh, one is called T poly, and this is D poly, maybe shifted by one. Uh, t, uh, uh, t poly it's uh, poly vector fields, and you, st you shift it by one. So on degree minus one will be functions, and it will be vector fields by vector fields, and so on. And uh, you get scored in bracket. And d poly also starts in degree. It's again O. But instead of uh, t, you can see the differential operators. x, dx, differential operators, 
not only vector fields, and a sort of uh, by vector fields can it be differential operators and so on, poly differential operators. Uh, then we this can be thought as a kind of version of cohomological local version of cohomological Hochschild complex for algebra functions. It gives uh, polylinear operation functions. It's uh, end out with some other uh, bracket. And uh, the main thing is there is a kind of L infinity, whatever it means, quasi isomorphism between these shifts. Uh, using this complicated Feynman integrals and diagrams and so on. Uh, it's quasi isomorphism, which identifies some mm, solution of Mark Cartan equation. And there is uh, some general story. If you get shift of differential gradient algebra, one consider uh, um, Mauro Cartan space or some functor with values in maybe groupoids or whatever we want uh, for R gamma this guy R gamma and if you're interested if you try to interpret what means uh, uh, this thing it's Yeah, it's kind of purely a differential geometric equation, and here are deformations of shifts of categories. It's kind of this controllable deformations of shifts of categories. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of un very unpleasant to think about these categories, which are locally equivalent to categories of modules of some algebras, but there's really no algebras. Uh, uh, so the kind of theorem one, if X is compact and it's so actually theorem construction maybe, and uh, then choose uh, a subspace in cohomology of X with complex coefficients, I will be uh, please to all complex numbers. Uh, such that uh, V included to this cohomology of XC and maps to cohomology of X with shift OX. Uh, this is for compact varieties epimorphism uh, is bijection. Yeah, so it ch choose some s splitting of some term of Hodge filtration. Uh, then this choice, which is pure, uh, you can use Hodge theory, for example, to do it, it will be canonical choice. Uh, it gives uh, quasi isomorphisms of modulus, global modulus space, not of shifts, Mauro Cartan of R gamma. Now, I Uh, of truncated uh, things as a shift then uh, even locally not quasi isomorphic but globally we will get certain uh, identification modular space and here it's, it's uh, here has a following clean meaning it's uh, deformations of uh, x and kind of zero Poisson structure s Poisson manifold may, may deform to little x and also at Poisson structure on it. You start with, yeah, because if you consider uh, what it's mean, you have essentially you do by vector fields and you give Poisson structure in, in vector and H1 of vector fields which are deformations. And here it will be deformations of X and O is a shift of C algebras. So you consider variety with a shift of algebras. So it's not shift of algebraids. Uh, the proof, it's really one line proof. Uh, the observation is that on both modular spaces, 
mostly algebras contains constants as a, a, a central a center. Contains constant shift. It's, it's actually a central embedding. And what does it mean? That it means that you can see the R gamma of this shift of Lie algebra, which is just graded vector space. Uh, so you see that cohomology of x shifted by 2 is graded abelian uh, is a great Lie algebra acts on both uh, Markartan spaces. Uh, R gamma T poly and on D poly. Uh, now, uh, 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 these spaces, maybe I'll just, uh, so if it acts, then the subspace V also acts. Yeah, so you get action of uh, kind of uh, additive super space on this Markatan thing. And uh, mm. this guy contains, because it contains subalgebra of t greater to equal 1 and d greater to equal 1, get in inclusion of And and then what you get? You get the following. You get this V shifted by two. And which actually uh, maybe because V is isomorphic, you can see cumulative of X by X shifted by two. Multiplied by you consider action on this uh, sub uh, on this uh, uh, submodular space. Maps to Markatan of R gamma T poly. It maps to Markatan of R gamma of D poly. Uh, because this thing sits in the larger space, and we can see the action of subgroup on this larger space. And if you check on the level of tangent space it, at uh, zero point, you get its quasi isomorphism. So it's actually quasi isomorphism, because it's quasi isomorphism on the level of tangent space. At initial point. This I think is quasi isomorphic by formality. So I think that this guy is equal to this guy. Action is free. And so you identify one thing with another. But uh, when you identify, you see that you get some certain interesting things that mm. it will be not uh, one thing included to another thing in another. You get certain shift by uh, cohomology class. So you should, um, for example, you start with. Mm. Uh, Poisson structure, which gives solution market on here, uh, and add zero here, and to transfer here, you get not shift of algebra, but shift of kind of al algebra shifted by some class in, in, in the space V, so it should have some uh, Jerby correction. And this correction is non trivial. Uh, uh, many years ago, Boris Sigan made a calculation in the case of compact symplectic manifolds like case resurface. And uh, there are not so many examples, but one can still develop a theory. And uh, it turns out that if you want to, def uh, to see what uh, actual shift of algebra is in comparison to the story, you get some correction. And correction is non-trivial. It's rosansky witten invariance of symplectic manifold. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty non-trivial story how we go from to another. But as a claim, the same works for symplectic Poisson manifolds. There is some kind of analog of rosansky witten story, which I don't know what is it. But this kind of simplifies the life. So we can really parameterize shifts of algebras by Poisson structures. Yeah, so it's uh, first theorem. And another theorem 
it's about divisors actually it's some kind of unfin uh, unfinished manuscript by my cam collaborator from Cameroon he <laughs> actually he proposes uh, story uh, Joseph Donga uh, about two three years ago uh, and that it's a logarithmic formality uh, if you have again any compact variety uh, algebraic or analytic and um, it contains divisor with normal crossing Uh, then uh, one uh, 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 should replace polyvector fields by logarithmic polyvector fields. Uh, so, so first one have kind of logarithmic bundle. So if you have some coordinates x1 to xn on your variety, then log a and divisor is given by product of x equal to zero. Uh, then uh, 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 logarithm tangent bundle is uh, uh, in local coordinates is uh, bundle with basis which is denote x i d or d x i. So it's a kind of vector, vector field tangent to this uh, story, and uh, that's geometric part of the story, and uh, algebraic part of the story is. Uh, uh, diagram of functors. You get uh, uh, kind of uh, shift of categories on X, and suppose let, let's suppose its device has one component. So you get a f uh, you quantize both X and divisor, and you get two two categories. And the restriction functor will give a functor between two categories. Or uh, you know, algebraic will be morphism of algebras. And if devices maybe union of component, maybe so, let's say two component, you get commutative diagram of uh, functors. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, kind of pretty abstract. But what say it's an, uh, one can combine two things mm. if you get Poisson manifold with Poisson divisor. Uh, then when you quantize to get shift of algebras and such an ideal of the device will be uh, uh, still ide two-sided ideal non-commutative algebra. If you get compact Poisson uh, variety X and divisor, maybe X, X bar say, and uh, um, Mm. And Poisson divisor with normal crossing. Uh, then uh, you get algebras plus two sided ideals after deformations. Mm. And then we just for my X bar here. Uh, so now return to the situation when X is is X bar minus divisor, and assume. X is affine. Uh, then what I claim is that by deformation you get filtered algebra. Yeah, filtered algebra over still over form power series, I still not interchange as an order of series. And filtered algebra uh, uh, 
will be again h maybe okay will be uh, uh, sections of on x bar over uh, my uh, one test shift and put maybe kd at uh, 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 allow also for the k, the k zero one, so on. and then we get a, a multiplication will be compatible uh, uh, with the filtration. Uh, these spaces are finite dimensional, and uh, then we get kind of inductive limit, which will be filtered algebra. And uh, this is essentially object of algebraic geometry. And because what it says, it's algebra uh, mm, I think it's uh, more or less automatic, it will be finitely generated and generated by some finite uh, space. So you get some finite dimensional space, some generators, relations, and associativity uh, gives some algebraic constraints. So we get algebraic moduli space of such filtered algebras, uh, some moduli space. And uh, what we have here, we get a formal, we get, we get a map from formal spectrum of C of H to this modular space. And uh, uh, I told you there exists, for example, uh, kind of one principle uh, deformation when we kind of rescale Poisson structure when twist parameter is zero. So examples, which I showed in a minute, suggest that uh, uh, that this uh, formal pass is uh, extends to uh, actually analytic germ. In fact, not, not even analytic germ. In all examples, it's entire in some entire map. It's not algebraic map. It will be still or of C analytic. Mm. Mm. And uh, then we can arrange parameters. One can speak about algebraic families of is filtered algebras. Yeah, so that's uh, how one can go to uh, mm, form power series uh, to mm, actual family of algebras. Yeah, so what are basic examples? Suppose X is cotangent bundle to some smooth algebraic variety. And I explained uh, uh, last time to kind of get usual differential operators that one should put non-trivial twist parameter belongs to H2. Uh, x z mod to z. Uh, we can see this kind of plus minus one sitting in C of H bar parameter, and it's responsible for taking square root of canonical bundle of y over two. It's up. Mm, okay, then uh, you get the. Uh, uh, so how we compactify it? So first case, first a, y, where a is compact itself. If y is compact itself, the compact, so you get a vibration of y with fibers which are vector spaces, and you compactify each vector space to projective space. Uh, Fiber-wise compactifi compactification of cotangent bundle, cotangent bundle union prioritization to infinity. And it's uh, very easy to see it's Poisson 
uh, the device that she had at infinity is its Poisson divisor. Uh, and uh, this procedure should give you, of course, differential operators. Kind of each differential operators. Mm. On y. Mm. And you get a family over algebras over, in this case, polynomially depending on h bar. Uh, if y is not comp is is uh, ah actually sorry it's not algebra. So you get category of d modules. It's not it's not you also get a shift of categories but mm. I don't want to lead to it's all stories to speak about shifts because after you make it all things ac actual families, there is no shifts whatsoever. Yeah, so it's all things with just one global category. So Fx is, uh, is not compact. For example, if it's affine, then you get modulus of differential operators. But uh, the compactification is the following first, you choose compactification of y. Again, by this device, this normal crossing divisor. And then consider cotangent bundle to y shifted by logarithm. Uh, it's kind of dual to uh, uh, logarithmic tangent bundle, which I explained to you. Uh, in case of device normal uh, crossing, you get uh, mm. you get total space, total space of the things, and you uh, and and make make total space of proctivization of the same thing. Do the same story, but it's uh, uh, it's again one can easily see that divisor will have uh, several components. It will be vertical and horizontal components, and both will be uh, Poisson. Now this the second example is. X will be C star cross C star uh, with coordinates x1, x2. And form is uh, how you can compactify. You can compactify it many, many ways. There's really no resource phase. X bar will be any toric compactification. It all always gives Poisson surface. Yeah, this not should be not necessarily projective, just any direct amplification. And mm, 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 uh, the algebra you get analytic in H bar family. Of algebras. And algebras are mm. Quantum torus. So you can see the x1 hat cross x2 hat. Maybe. The q is c star. And h goes to q, q of h is equal to exponent of h. Yeah, so it's a family of algebras algebraically depending on parameter q. Uh, filtration is by total to a degree of Laurent. Ah, x, x, i, x. Two are invertible variables satisfying this relation. Like, um, you get a, a algebraic family, but when you make a canonical family of star products, you get transcendental map, which is still entire map, it defines for all h bar. Yeah. And then, uh, kind of next example, x will be CP two minus smooth uh, cubic curve. Mm. Curve will be given by some equation f of x0, x1, x2 equal to 0, when x0 x and x2 are homogeneous uh, coordinate. 
and mm, yeah, for example, if you can see the chart when x0 is equal to 1, then a uh, symplectic form will be dx1 dx2 divided by df at x0 equal to 1. Yeah, it will be cubic polynomial. Yeah. Uh, and then you get something called Sklenian algebra, a version of Sklenian algebra. Uh, uh, let me give you an explicit description of this. Mm. First, I can see the free algebra generated by three uh, variables. It's um, it's free whatever, tensor algebra. And then, yeah, obviously, it's, it's graded by homogeneity degree. Mm, now we take element on potential, which is element on, uh, on the quotient. So it's con considered linear combination of cyclic words of homogeneity degree 3. Yeah, this space has dimension 11. This three variables, it's very easy to calculate, um, which is 1 plus uh, number of uh, dimension of Uh, usual cubic polynomials and commutic variables, and and you take uh, you take potential and then consider algebra f modular relations. Uh, oh, so, so, uh, two-sided ideal. Uh, if you get a cyclic word, then there is a well-defined derivative, which belongs to algebra itself. If you draw some expression, well, for example, I don't know, x2, x2, for example, d of dx1 of these things, uh, what you do, you put, apply cyclic permutation, put x1 in the front and remove it, and get x2, x2. Yeah, that's how typical. Yeah, so you get some quadratic relations. Uh, and uh, this algebra, because you, you can act by jl9, uh, you get essentially two parameters. Uh, mm, some canonical form of potential will be the following. It will be uh, something like x0, x1, x2 x2 minus x0, x2, x1 plus uh, maybe some, uh, some small parameters uh, um, I have considered this uh, as a small correction. Then the equation the derivative is equal to 0 will tell you that x i x j kind of close to 0. So you get deformation of algebra. Uh, just the things uh, by taking derivative, you get uh, all commutators equal to 0. And this will be deformation of uh, free algebras. Uh, yeah, so you get. Mm, this thing depends on two parameters. Yeah, by the way, here we get one parameter, yeah? And uh, 
uh, there is something common in these two examples. Uh, one is rank of H2 of, of, of x, of C star or C star. And two is rank of H2 of Cp2 minus cubic. Yeah, so it's not really coincidence that uh, the number of parameters will be dimension of second homology. Mm, yeah, so this is Sklenian algebra. Uh, you get maybe algebra f prime. Then f prime is still graded. And uh, in degree 3 it contains certain central element, which will be more or less this polynomial which you add to the correction. You get the central element and you consider the three of you add the inverse and take homogeneity de degree zero part of the story. Yeah, so what is model? If you have uh, an algebra of polynomials and three variables and we get some cubic polynomial, we invert, we get algebra functions on cubic sp uh, space minus cubic form and consider hom function homogeneity degree three, we get function on P2 minus cubic curve. Yeah, so that's uh, the model is this Glennian algebra. Okay. Yeah, so that's uh, this, uh, um, mm, kind of three basic examples when you have interesting algebras. Uh, 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 what I want to say is it's kind of there are some non -ex uh, examples non quantizable. Uh, Varieties. Um, uh, things will be a little bit kind of similar to this uh, construction. For example, again, you consider some now function in because we don't homogeneous, I better denote x1, x2, x3, not x0, x1, x2. Uh, uh, they are Poisson, but not quantizable. Uh, no, I, I will s s say some uh, example, some symplectic manifolds, or uh, Poisson, uh, which are not quantizable. Uh, there is really no uh, quantization. Uh, yeah, so there is um, uh, first example of uh, uh, interesting variety is the following. If you consider polynomial, then it gives you uh, Ah, example will Poisson variety. You get Poisson structure, namely, uh, you consider this. Uh, you can write Poisson bracket. Like this. Or uh, this inverse things will be dx1, dx2, dx3 divided by f. And F will be, it's, it's not homogeneous polynomial. Yeah, so for any non homogeneous polynomial, we'll get some uh, Poisson structure. And uh, uh, you want to, uh, to quantize it. And if degree of F is less than 3, then kind of naive filtration uh, will be OK. So it's quantizable, at least on the nose. And if it's greater than four, it's not. Yeah, so that. You mean that by uh, by uh, by sheaf, but by algebraic, it's always quantizable. No, 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 quantizable. I mean, kind of non non, non uh, perturbative quantize, not not uh, compactifiable, maybe, not compactifiable. In the formal shift things exist here, yeah, but to get reasonable answer, one should. Make a quantification. Uh, but there are other uh, uh, kind of uh, thing which, for example, consider C two minus zero with the standard symplectic form. Uh, it's also not uh, uh, compactifiable 
in this sense. At infinity, you just simplify the by projector space. But uh, mm, at zero, uh, I, I, uh, if I add zero, I, it's, uh, it will be something correct. It will be not, add not a divisor. And if I make a blow up, for example, at zero of C2, then the two form will vanish, not have a pole. And my form should have all these poles. And uh, uh, another example, if uh, suppose x bar is, let's say, surface of general type. So it has uh, many two forms. You pick some form, some non-zero form, and take x will be x bar minus zeros of of this form. Yeah, that's uh, also bad symplectic manifold because you compute by something with zeros, not poles. And think which I. Uh, didn't really work out, but mm. it looks that we consider like G reductive group and consider uh, there are quadrant or orbits, and there is some kind of the worst orbit, which is kind of nilpotent orbit. Uh, it doesn't look to be quantizable because even in the case of SL2. SL2, you get C2 minus 0. <laughs> yeah, so I, I really lost what to do. Maybe I should extend a little bit symplectic manifold. Uh, not compactifiable on the nose, so at least one should change a little bit. Sorry? In, the in this example with C2 minus 0, why don't you allow to just... Yeah, no, no, because in my compactifiable story, I just said that uh, I should add... Uh, um, uh, uh, divisor, uh, and it's not what I'm adding here, adding a point, not a divisor. Yeah, but I think it's yeah no, you can make, no, 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 you can make embed it in some larger symplectic manifold which is compactifiable. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's... Uh, if, this, if you have SL2, you just have the quadratic cone, yeah. A1, so it's fine. A1, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Uh, it's, so it's yeah, it's kind of, yeah. And I think even that these are uh, at symplectic. No, 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 but you need some kind of block. You add some points to your symplectic leaf to make it. Uh, uh, you make it blow up, yeah, still. Yeah, but these are symplectic resolution. Yeah, so you have symplectic resolution, yeah. You so, so it, it, it extends as a symplectic yeah. form. Sorry. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. But at least not the orbit on the nose. You should embed it as a risky open to some larger symplectic variety. That's what I want to say. More. Mm. I just want to add to good example one, maybe zero example, uh, which I forgot to mention. If X is uh, mm, a fine space. Again, with standard symplectic form, there is still another compactification, x sitting in a projective space. It's not the compactification of, of, of cotangent bundle, because it uh, can, uh, uh, compactified um, um, in all direction. And in this case, I get, again, differential operators. In the algebra. Which is differential operators of ED. Mm. Uh, but natural filtration, which I obtained here, it's, it's called Bernstein filtration. Now, yeah, so what uh, actually we see here is that. Uh, we can have different compactifications giving different filtrations on the same algebras. Uh, like uh, for this affine space, we can compactify first, it's kind of horizontally, uh, interpret this cotangent bundle to AD. 
which is y. We complify y horizontally, and we get uh, one sort of complication, one sort of filtration, or we have another complication, another filtration of the algebra. And the same story in the second case, because one can use different Tory complication, gives different uh, filtration by uh, um, because the basis is labeled by points in Z2 in this quantum algebra. And you consider multiples of various convex polygons that will give different filtrations on the same algebra. In the third case, you have only one. There's really no choice, it's just unique uh, filtration on the algebra. You don't can have this uh, um, freedom. And now I want to explain uh, that that was kind of original motivation for the conjecture which I late, later made with Alexey belov canel different, different ideas that automorphism of uh, algebra of differential operators of uh, uh, AM is naturally isomorphic to automorphisms of a fine space with a standard symplectic form, so polynomial symplectomorphisms. Yeah, so this is conjecture which is explained, it's almost proven by now. Um, ah, uh, yeah, so what was my original motivation before I uh, uh, just uh, uh, collaborated with Alexei? Bill of Canel, uh, it was before this, I have already the idea on different reasons. Mm. The, uh, the rough, ide the rough ide idea is the following. In all this uh, uh, story with computation, it's, it's not really clear. Uh, 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 for example, I put the condition that this computation is smooth and divisor is devi uh, divisor is normal crossing. Smooth. It seems to be kind of a bit too strong conditions. For example, definitely one can allow singularities in good dimensions, real stuff like this. And uh, it hasn't been studied, but um, so kind of guess that uh, compactification would be uh, slightly non-smooth. Sir? Free divisor. Sir? Huh? Free divisor. Yeah. So that the sheep logarithmic tangent yeah. is still free. It's not even necessary. Um, you see, for example, if you, if, if divisor is um, arbitrary, uh, singular as you like, still you, mm, um, uh, uh, the claim is that uh, uh, the algebra will have ideal, two-sided ideal, uh, uh, in the smooth part of the divisor, and then singularity of the divisor is something for co-dimension two, so you get automatically extension of two-sided ideal everywhere by Hartog's principle. Yeah, so it's uh, uh, slightly singular. And divisor not necessary normal crossing. And uh, what it will imply? Suppose I have variety and have two two different Poisson computations. Kind of first and and I have two Poisson compactifications. Then I can embed these things to the product. Product is still Poisson variety, <coughs> and take closure of the thing, of the image. Yeah, this guy will be singular. Yeah, that's why I want to be singular. It will be let's call this x triple prime, but it's kind of maps to x prime and x 
double prime. And this looks like kind of blow-ups at infinity, roughly. Some, mm, some blow-ups. In fact, after break, I will uh, speak about uh, more detailed examples of blow-ups. Yeah, it looks that blow-ups uh, survive to this quantization world as well. And the, the algebra which we obtained, like functions which having poles are part of our devices, will not change. So these things will identify quant uh, qu quantized algebras. So the guess is that this compactification is irrelevant. So the algebra uh, uh, will be canonically defined. And this is kind of manifestation of the fact. It's canonically defined. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that was the uh, um, original motivation. Mm. We, uh, yeah, and then uh, with Belov Canel, we have different approach using prime numbers, which gives essential to the proof. But, uh, uh, but this uh, proof by dot, it proves not these things, but Morita after equivalence. We get some bimodules. Kind of you lose algebra, you keep categories, but lose, lose algebra. And this picture says that you really keep algebra uh, canonically. So this, uh, so the big conjecture is if x omega is compactifiable, get canonical algebra, analytically depending on each bar. I just uh, I actually I forgot to say this one word about analytic dependence. Uh, in the third example, uh, what will we, uh, one can guess what is dependence uh, for f canonical family uh, of these algebras. Algebras have two parameters, and parameters are elliptic curve, abstract elliptic curve, and the shift of this elliptic curve. Kind of, um, or if we had zero, some element on this elliptic curve. This Poisson structure gives elliptic curve plus a vector field. And then uh, you apply by time one of h bar, you get certain shifts. It will be entire map. It will be uh, like elliptic e exponential map. It will be entire function of h bar. OK, so I think now I'll take a small break, about maybe five minutes. Yeah. Now, so uh, now I'll kind of change the topic. But just to uh, summarize. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll disc, uh, disc, uh, discuss formal and non-formal uh, deformation quantizations. This will be, these are two uh, important ingredients in my program. There will be third ingredient, Foucault categories, which uh, I'll explain maybe in the first lecture. Uh, but uh, uh, right now, I will not go to this Foucault category. I will uh, explain some various ver uh, versions of Riemann-Hilbert correspondence. And uh, it will be kind of laboratory for to see how all, all this general story works. Um, so I have Riemann-Hilbert correspondence, and uh, essentially six is most clean in dimension one. But uh, and I'll start with some really basic things. Um, so suppose. Y is a uh, curve, algebraic curve of complex numbers. And, mm, and we just in, I, I will not put here h bar parameter at all. So kind of, if one think parameter h bar is equal to one, kind of, it's uh, interesting in, in uh, dy modules. And uh, the modules contains this nice part, which is relevant for uh, riemann hilbert response. It's holonomic the modules. And uh, in the case of dimension one, these holonomic the modules are essentially of two types. Uh, either you get maybe y, some y zero, which is y minus some finite set points, and on y zero. You have an uh, algebraic vector bundle plus connection. 
which can have regular regular singularities. And then you extend maybe to your right here. Or second, well, I think you get a point in Y. And there is a, um, some nice uh, d modules called de delta Y. Uh, it's a d module concentrated concentrated at point Y. And uh, I recall you how it looked like. It's uh, if you have local coordinate on T, for example, and you get point zero, uh, then I consider mm, this is definitely get action of D U D T and T on, on this two space. Consider quotient module and it has basis t inverse, t minus 2, minus 3. And then multiplication by t acts like this. Multiplication d dt gives an uh, opposite operator. And it's called delta function because you look like delta function, it's its derivative in one variable. It will be the same uh, uh, d module. OK, so there are two basic. Uh, I think, yes, so, so essentially vector bundles in this delta module is pretty trivial. And, um, and kind of the standard story about uh, D modules, first we want to study a uh, formal puncture disk. disk. So the algebra function will be. Uh, Kind of uh, Loran <laughs> polynomials. Uh, and here, delta, f uh, because it's punctures, it has no actual points, there's really no delta functions here. Uh, so, we, what we're interested in vector bundles, which is the same as uh, free finite rank CFX modules plus connection. And connection is uh, just uh, operator delta from module times, uh, um, what is it? Uh, operator satisfying Leibniz rule. Now, yeah. or you trivialize, you get just meromorphic connection. Yeah, so this is uh, uh, some story about this connection that I want to def describe in some details and to see some geometry, which people usually not, do not describe here. First, there's a cl class of things called regular, uh, reg regular singularity. And the definition is the following. Uh, uh, Mm. There are various definitions that M contains uh, mm, ah, the set of elements of M said that if you apply operator X DO DX to M, you get something finite dimensional, it is dense in M. Generalized eigen function is dense in M. Mm. And it's equivalent to uh, the following thing that uh, there exists M0 and M, which will be free CX module or finite rank, so that M is equal to obtained by localization. Uh, M0. And M0 is invariant under the same operator x dx. Now, now such uh, 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 things, it's uh, very easy to describe uh, this, uh, uh, this regular model. You consider 
this dense set of vector when you get uh, finite dimen uh, kind of like eigen spaces of uh, general eigen spaces of x over dx and x over dx you denote by lambda mm. so you get m finite is c lambda module and uh, and x if you go to this variable lambda will be shift operator and now equivalent under z action mm. This uh, C of lambda module will be sum of torsion module, and it will be kind of infinite sum of uh, finite dimensional modules. Uh, infinite direct sum. And um, how it looks like? We have lambda plane. Uh, finite dimensional module of C of lambda is. Uh, uh, some of in decomposable, in decomposable, either f kind of finite jets of functions, some point. Yeah, so, so if you get consider support of this M, you get some uh, finite collection. Uh, the kind of what you get finite collection of arithmetic progressions. The step uh, uh, support of M F is finite. Union of Z progressions, arithmetic progression is step one, and um, um, and here we get uh, modules of finite lengths, kind of finite dimensional vector space when operator act with generalized eigenvalue lambda. Oh, so that's that's a description, uh, and. Uh, In the composable uh, irregular regular connections over this C of x, I and one to one correspondence to uh, pairs lambda, which belongs C up to shift by Z, and some integer. And um, mm. the module uh, is isom uh, actually has, has the following form x lambda. Uh, uh, times c of x plus x lambda log x times c of x you can see this vector space is the subial section action of operators x of dx uh, if you go to Base of monomials, you get ex exactly this picture and uh, Laurent series. Yeah. yeah so you get uh, the thing and lambda is in uh, C mod Z. It works over any field of characteristic zero. There's nothing, let's well, algebraic closed field of characteristic zero. But over complex numbers, uh, one can say that uh, uh, you have, we can use exponential map. Lambda. Uh, yeah, so kind of put these things on a on a on a cylinder uh, by exponential map, and you get uh, coherent shift. You get some finitely many points, and uh, uh, it says that it thinks it's the same as coherent shifts with finite support on C star, or the same as finite dimensional representation of group Z, which is fundamental group of a circle. Yeah, so um, yeah, so it's uh, all, uh, all equivalent ways to see the same category of regular uh, connections with regular singularities. Mm. Now about irregular singularities. 
and through this classical result, uh, what's called? I think it's something called Ikehara. Theorem. Uh, it describes connections with irregular singularities. We don't have M zeros. Uh, this um, abelian category of connections over these things is actually in, in, in infinite direct sum uh, of some blocks. And each block is isomorphic to this regular singularities. This is isomorphic to representations of I1 of S1, which is Z. The same story. But blocks are labeled by uh, some kind of irregular data. Mm. And irregular data is uh, the following infinite set. You can see the You can see the algebraic closure. Uh, and which is what? It's, it's a union for n goes to infinity. C of x, 1 over n bar. And this is called piezo series. When you get rational uh, exponents. Uh, it contains kind of ring of integer. It's still local field. Uh, then I can see the quotient abelian group. So it means you can see uh, it will be serious polynomials with negative powers. Finite sums. And lambda belongs to rational numbers and strictly negative. C lambda x to power lambda. And consider quotient orbits by action of Gala group of this guy. which is actually the head. And um, the generator, kind of x to the power, the topological generator will be exponent of 2 pi i over x to the power n. Yeah, so it means that you consider um, a six model action of uh, this group. And uh, how to say it uh, uh, more concretely, if you get any such expression, uh, any such expression, you get a kind of minimal n, n, set that all lambda, c lambda not equal to 0, means that lambda belongs to 1 over nz. It will be least common multiple of denominators of exponent appearing here. Now, so, so write this uh, sum of c, a, a, n, x to pi a, n. Uh, where e a i are negative integers, and c i a n are all on zero. And now, graded uh, common divisors of a i is equal to one. You cannot mm. the, the six, and you mod out by action of. Uh, Is this i is square root of minus one? So, so this is description of flat sections. Not flat sections. I, no, uh, I didn't say. So. I, I didn't speak about flat sections. Now I, I say what what is the regular data? I, I said it's, it's this abstract uh, notion. Yes, uh, I didn't speak about. Uh, it's, it's not flat section. 
uh, but but in this logarithmic case, it's, it's flat sections, right? No, 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 no. It has nothing to do. It's lo uh, lo regular singularity. Uh, it corresponds to this sum of c lambda equal lambda is equal to zero. It's kind of the most degenerate case. <coughs> yeah. And uh, what is uh, the corresponding block? I, it, uh, uh, it is the following. You go to coordinate x to power 1. Uh, so this quotient that you wrote, this, this is the index set? For index set, index set, yeah. It's not a group. It's a, quo it's a set of orbits of the group by... Uh, yeah. yeah. If you fix one of this uh, uh, guy, we get, uh, let's introduce variable w. So we get uh, mm. we get n fold uh, covering of puncture disk by, by variable w, and on uh, I, 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 and what we do here is we consider the following: we consider the exponent of sum of c i n w to power a i. Yeah. Negative numbers will be something like exponent of uh, whatever, x to minus one half plus blah blah blah. Uh, but we consider this guy tensing by mm, a regular connection in in W. We get a D module upstairs and take direct image. Mm. Yeah, this this will be block uh, corresponding to mm, each regular term. Okay, so that's a theorem, and uh, I don't. Uh, and when I start to learn the subject, I kind of I ne never really learned the proof. Yeah, I kind of was eager to believe. Yeah, it's, it's some technical <laughs> results by induction, blah blah blah. But there is actually interesting different uh, uh, algebraic geometry in how, uh, behind this statement which was not clarified at the time. Mm, what is geometry behind this? Uh, uh, this geometry of this, of this decomposition, block decomposition. Uh, mm. uh, if, uh, we should go kind of uh, uh, maybe I first consider kind of classical analog. Uh, let's consider. Formal spectrum of mm, uh, 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 at uh, zero points, so it will be not Laurent series but uh, Taylor series, and I can see the cotangent bundle here with vertical coordinate y. Uh, uh, and when I consider mm, cotangent bundle, Uh, the algebra of functions will be c of x of y. y will be vertical coordinate. Mm. It's to form mm. now. Mm. Now I compactify these things at infinity. Yeah. So uh, let's try. To mention what does it mean we can come to at infinity, we get not a fine um, variety, not a fine formal scheme. We get formal neighborhood. Uh, it will be kind of like p1 multiplied by in y direction multiplied by spectrum of c of x. And when we compactify, we can cover by kind of uh, t 
two, in a sense, open spaces in the intersection. Uh, we have open part, which uh, uh, we get this algebra. We have uh, some piece at infinity, which will be C of x uh, y inverse, form power series in two variable at infinity. And the intersection will be spectrum of uh, uh, Mm, what I think Loran series in that's ah, actually, I, I was wrong direction here. Yeah, so I get uh, uh, through rings describing uh, uh, um, this complement in this completion to, to the section formal neighborhood of this, uh, this um, um, drum to infinity of the section and uh, uh, formal neighborhood of this point and what, what would be intersection. And if you want to describe the shifts, you can see the modules of this guy, modules of this guy, so with identifications of localization of this guy. Yeah, so that's um, uh, some gadget, and what we have here, we get, it's kind of small, but uh, we get a, a, a divisor here where, where to form has pole of order two. has pull of order two. And now we want to make blow-ups at this point. And uh, let's consider Poisson blow-ups. Now, we have a uh, uh, divisor uh, form has pull of order two. If you make a blow-up, then you get, you get some exceptional divisors, and the form will have pole of order one. Okay. Now I can make up at this point. Then I can make blow up again this point. get a new divisor here we, when a form will have blow up order pole of order two again. What are the rules? If you have just two numbers, let's say A and B, and uh, form is, uh, uh, has pole of order A, A and B in these two axes, for example, if it will be some coordinates x1, x2, I say that omega is something like dx1, dx2, divided by x2 to power A by x1 to power B. If you make blow up at this point, then we get things of order a plus b minus one. Yeah, they're not intersecting anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then we can com uh, uh, continue the game. W one can make blow up maybe at this point of order one. You get again some divisor of all of order one. Or you can blow up at this point. You get one, two, three, two. They can make blow up here. I guess pole of order two. Yeah. So yeah, so they have, uh, you can make many many trees. It is uh, temporarily. Let's not allow to blow up at points. Uh, where at smooth points of divisors of uh, divisors of pole, where order of pole is one. 
In principle, one can make blow up at point of order one, and what you get, you get a new device, and you get pole of order zero. So it means you can make a larger symplectic leaf. And I want to keep my symplectic leaf the same. Now, now so you get this uh, tower of uh, blown up surfaces, and the claim that all these irregular uh, terms, this quotient set, inductive limits of set of divisors on this blow up things uh, where omega has first order pole. No, yeah, that's uh, hidden algebraic geometry behind this quotient set. Mm. And uh, mm. uh, there are many reasons why it's a good notion. Yeah, for example, suppose we get a germ of curve, germ of curve, which uh, which lands at uh, uh, which lands at y equal to infinity. It does like completely in line infinity. Mm. Yeah, this germ of curve. Uh, it intersects uh, uh, devices that have pole of order two in, in the original picture. Then we make a blow up. When we make a blow up, what will happen? We have this germ. It could several things can happen. As it goes uh, here, and we uh, and we stop it this way, or it goes here to intersection points. And if it goes to intersection point, we start to make blow up. Intersection will decrease. Eventually, we reach uh, the situation when it goes to divisor when we have pole of order one, and we stop at this moment. Uh, yeah. So one can achieve. Yeah. For achieve that the following thing that. Uh, germ of curve in, uh, let's say, in this cotangent space which goes to uh, infinity um, after some blobs, after this Poisson blobs. meets uh, 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 smooth point of divisor when have um, pole of order one. Mm. Actually, these divisors, when you have pole of order one, yeah, so it's really. Uh, uh, ah, how uh, how they correspond to these irregular terms? If you get, I didn't describe the response. If you get sum of c lambda x to power lambda, lambda is, is rational. If you get this uh, series, you can see the graph of the f. Graph of df will be a uh, certain curve, and it 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 will uh, will pick uh, this divisor at uh, geometrically. Uh, in fact. Uh, uh, there is some small detail here. For example, if you look here uh, in this description, 
uh, some, uh, 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 it works if f is not equal to zero. Yeah, for if it's not to zero, it doesn't really goes to infinity. So it's uh, something is slightly wrong, and uh, mm. uh, actually the right way is the following. Uh, this picture was uh, one should a little bit uh, modify this picture. One have this device that has pole of order zero. It maps to this my spec of C x. Get like P one times C x. Now we make uh, first blow up. Yeah, it has a vertical fiber. We make a blow up. We get something of order one. And all the rest we do at this point. All the rest we do, uh, blow ups we do uh, at uh, this point. Uh, but, uh, but this vertical fiber after this blow became uh, minus one curve. And you can contract it. And here's this uh, place for all future blobs. Mm. You can contract it, and you get something different. It's again this is the same place and it makes all future blobs. Uh, you you make a. Uh, um, uh, <coughs> Formal scheme, which is again uh, kind of like why uh, it looks again like product of PP1 times spectrum of C of X, but here to be new coordinates, y, y maybe prime or y tilde, and symplectic form is dx over x times dy tilde. Yeah, so. Um, mm, this is uh, the right vari variety, uh, and incidentally, it's compactified logarithmic cotangent bundle to the punctured disk, to, to the disk, uh, which was uh, how I explained what should do for open variety. Uh, this compactified in vertical direction. T uh, this uh, spec C of x logarithmic divisor like to zero. Okay, and now uh, the whole thing will be uh, get essentially the same picture, but uh, mm, mm, then any curve will, will uh, any any section uh, will go either to this device of regular singularity or to some blow up irregular sim singularity to this point and. You do mm, this picture. Okay, so it was kind of classical picture. What it has to do with uh, uh, differential operators. Uh, the story here is uh, the following: uh, we get this formal scheme. Yeah. Uh, which is a, a thickening of uh, P1. Uh, ah, uh, we have this uh, 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 formal scheme, but uh, it, it's thickening of some uh, thickening of some of uh, of formal subscheme. Uh, which will be uh, a reduced scheme. It will be divisors of. Oh, maybe I'll go to uh, reduced schemes of uh, P1 union uh, spec Kx multiplied by this uh, point by tilde equal to infinity. Consider this 
to small gaze. Uh, and I claim that uh, this uh, 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 small thing carries a sheaf of of non commutative algebras. Actually, not a sh yeah, and a second, not a sheaf. Mm. I just try to think what is going on. Ah, the claim is the following: If you make, if you make kind of some uh, finite blow up in, in this picture, any finite kind of Poisson blow up, uh, mm, oh, one can get certain nice uh, abelian category. Or maybe, mm, maybe uh, it's better to say triangulated category. Which maps to perfect complexes on uh, non-reduced formal scheme. Uh, which form schemes of uh, mm, zeros of Poisson structure. So if we get multiplicity one, we get just divisors with multiplicity one. If multiplicity two, we get think with first derivative. Mm. So what uh, what do we do? Uh, but you include the ones. Include the ones, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm, what do we do for original uh, 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 mm, uh, object? Uh, I, again, I cover by two kind of open, uh, in formal sense, subsets. And mm, uh, this uh, I cover by uh, kind of u1, u2 in the intersection. Uh, mm, this uh, this triangular category will be perfect complexes, glued from category of perfect complex on three different algebras. From u1, uh, you do the following. And you do. Uh, Models of this quantized ring, and there's no h bar here <coughs> at all. <coughs> yeah. uh, from U2, uh, you can see the perfect complexes of C yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's really bizarre rings which enters the game. Yeah. And u1 intersecting u2, you get mm, perfect complexes of, of the intersection. Mm. Uh, then there is a kind of easy calculation that if you make, if you do blow up in classical geometry, then you also can put um, things in uh, 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 
quantum algebras and mm, uh, uh, so, so, so uh, you can just go step by step if you make blow up at one point go to local standard normal form and one can check that uh, this thing correspond one to another in some canonical way. Mm. Uh, th then it gives a, a way to kind of identify, uh, uh, since you make parallel between this question about curves, which meeting, which m uh, goes to some uh, device normal uh, with multiplicity one, and the question for quantum uh, mm, uh, representation of quantum algebra, uh, kind of flat connections. Uh, so the correspondence goes roughly like this. Mm. If you have holonomic uh, mm, model which is flat uh, bundled with flat connection in this case this connection uh, we have holonomic uh, module that it can sort it's uh, 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 something which lives on an open part of of this uh, variety morally then uh, uh, you kind of extend it not canonically way, not canonically, to uh, some coherent object on uh, on this compactified uh, 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 non-commutative space, and the model is holonomic if and only if uh, if this object has. Uh, if you restrict to the uh, to the boundary, you get pretty classical uh, by this restriction functor. You get something with zero dimensional support, and uh, this is analogous to interior the model of kind of choice of good filtration. Uh, it's uh, in similar situation if when you a cotangent bundle, you choose a good, good filtration. Or in Bernstein filtration, also good filtration. It's a similar story. Uh, so extend uh, to to the um, object of this category, and holonomic means that you get and it's a restriction to to the classical to commutative boundary at infinity. Has zero dimensional support. So it looks like several curves, maybe at this point at infinity. And then, uh, by the same uh, reasons as in commutative dream, to start to make blob and uh, want to m m move this support to um, mm. multiplicity one pieces. Yeah, and he here the story is uh, pretty interesting. Mm. Uh, uh, there, uh, on pieces, when, multi uh, when uh, order of zero of pole is at least two, and the intersections get actual sheaf of algebras. And uh, but when you get divisor of pole of order one, you don't get a sheaf of algebra, sheaf of algebras. Uh, mm. Order one, uh, you get uh, different geometry. Uh, uh, I think it's uh, what you get. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, this divisors is canonically identified with C. It has some canonical coordinate. Mm. White has canonical coordinate. Uh, 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 first, it has canonical one form because. Uh, uh, Two form has pole uh, 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 first of the pole. It has a residue which is one form. A residue of omega gives 
on one form, which is closed in dimension one, but, but omega, in fact, is differential of form y dx originally, differential of some Liouville form. And automatically, this one form will be differential of a, of a function. Uh, so the things will be canonically coordinate. Mm. And mm, then the ring which we consider here is the following. It's, uh, uh, it will be ring of form of power series. That's lambda will be coordinate, canonical coordinate. Uh, which is roughly correspond to x dot x, and the ring which is considered the following. We consider formal power series in kind of operator maybe T. The T is a shift operator. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and consider shifts only in positive directions. Yeah, because uh, uh, Lambda will correspond to x over dx, and t correspond to uh, x. So t, the commutator of t in lambda will equal to lambda. No, no, no t, commutator of t in lambda is equal to t. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, I think that this actually is, um, yeah, should, should this thing should uh, generalize to higher dimensions that. Uh, mm, we can make some make blow ups, and eventually you get certain pieces when you get automorphism of my of my my variety. Uh, mm. 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 Yeah, that's. Uh, uh, yeah, so, so what goes on? If you consider module over this algebra, module over this algebra, C of lambda and T, uh, which is finite rank, maybe over C of T. And, mm, mm, uh, this model, uh, and, um, we can make uh, uh, this algebra uh, maps epimorphically by T goes to zero to C of lambda. We get finite dimension of C of lambda. Just multiply module times C of t by uh, C, and t x goes to zero. We get finite dimension module of C of lambda. Uh, so we get uh, kind of like finitely many points as a support and uh, some important operators with these eigenvalues. But, uh, but the same model, we can uh, invert t and kind of make a, a lattice, uh, a different lattice. Uh, then uh, uh, it, it will have a different support uh, at, um, at this line. Yeah, yeah so, so it means that different, uh, different uh, good filtrations uh, gives different points on, on this uh, special fiber. It's kind of, it's, uh, it's, uh, this is good filtr filtrations. Different good filtrations gives In different support lambda goes to some constant. But where, where is the parameter lambda? Where the coordinate lambda? Lambda is vertical. It's here, for example. It's here. It will be vertical coordinate on this. Each one. You have yeah, on, on each device, it gets its, uh, its own co local coordinate lambda. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so that's uh, mm, uh, first. It's kind of explanation of this level two routine 
story. Uh, I think one can make it really rigorous proof, but uh, that explains the geometry. But also, it's explain uh, this picture gives explanation of the following classical fact. If you consider on a curve, uh, in any dimension, but on a curve, to consider two holonomic D modules, then X groups are finite dimensional. Uh, this is, uh, again, kind of standard fact and proved by some induction, filtration, but uh, what is geometric reason? And uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you see, it's uh, if, uh, it looks kind of paradoxical because, because this quantum geometry is quanti uh, quantization of commutative geometry and consider uh, shifts which are supported on curves and cotangent bundle. This is a non compact variety. And uh, X groups are, of course, intersection point, but if it's it, it's two curves, let's say, coincide, then X groups are infinite dimensional. How they became finite dimensional uh, uh, after quantization. Mm. Well, the explanation is the following. Suppose you have two modules D modules over uh, uh, DC modules, we see the curve, uh, Y is the curve. And suppose both are holonomic. Uh, I want to make uh, uh, the claim that X dimension of X group between M1 and M2 is, fin is finite. I want to explain uh, uh, why it's finite also to write kind of topological formal for earlier characteristic. Um, first of all, I have uh, for each of the D modules, I have, uh, uh, yeah, first of all, I put my perf to the compactification and consider total space of cotangent logarithm cotangent bundle. Total space and union uh, this productivization of the same thing. I get my Poisson surface. Uh, which could have some vertical and uh, uh, and the Poisson structure will have pole of order one at, uh, at at punctures at infinity and pole of order two at in infinity. Now my D module have some um, ir irregular singularities. Uh, maybe at infinity, maybe at finite po uh, finite points, and it means that I can make some bunch of blow-ups somewhere. And I can uh, construct Poisson surface which is uh, responsible for both modules, sufficiently large blob. This is possible for both uh, modules. So I had mm. Mm. get global compact Poisson surface. It will have a uh, um, classical boundary at infinity. Boundary at infinity, and uh, and I, I for these modules I get kind of like make a good filtration of of modules, gives extensions to mm, uh, objects of the corresponding uh, non-commutative space, such that in commutative boundaries they have finite finite support at smooth uh, points when you get. Mm, uh, uh, mm, objects which said at classical boundary have finite supports support which is the smooth part of uh, this uh, mm, uh, pole of order one divisors yeah because uh, we do this kind of compact guy the X groups of this between these compact objects will be finite dimensional. I don't understand that story. Sir? Because this is a local system outside of a finite set. If you take the local X. No, it's a regular singularity. No, I irregular, but outside of a finite set, it's a local, uh, it's yes, a local yes. system. Yeah. So it's a local problem, the finiteness. Finiteness? Uh, mm. <coughs> Yes, yes. If you look at X, it's a shift X, yes, not yes. the global X. 
Yeah, no, no, I can see the, I can see the global text. Okay, but the shift, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a... Yes, yes, no, no I, I, my, my perspective is not to use projection to the base curve to speak symplectically. Yeah, so I don't want to do kind of projection, yeah. To think, uh, because, because the same arguments should work for like models of quantum torus or in other situations, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so the philosophy is the following. We have, uh, we have these extensions, M i tilde. And uh, because the thing is compactness, uh, implies its dimension of extension of this m on tilde, tilde is less than infinite. But what is, has to do with this x group of original modules? It looks like a, a different problem because, um, mm, and I claim that uh, in appropriate sense are the, the, the same. So it's all reduced to kind of local question. We have this uh, lambda and this shift operator t, yeah? We get this, the same uh, algebra which, uh, Uh, when t lambda is equal to, to t, uh, I get this. Um, mm, uh, um, algebra which is not shift-like at all on this lambda uh, space. Uh, uh, and uh, kind of uh, simple modules are uh, uh, simple this uh, mm, holonomic modules are parameterized by point lambda, which is roughly you can try to think it's uh, kind of small sections. Uh, uh, what's called M lambda, M mu, where mu is in C. And uh, mm, Mm. And uh, yeah, if you, if you go to this more usual picture and t is equal to x, uh, this modules will be x mu two times c of x. Okay. Yeah, so it's close under x of dx and multiplication by x. These are simple modules. And mm, yeah. let's calculate x group between m mu and m mu. Now, uh, for this m mu, we should uh, have this algebra. Uh, to calculate the X group, we should make a kind of resolution of module, and it has two-step resolution. And resolution is multiplication by X dx minus mu on the right. Yeah, so it see that it's given to cohomology of this, the following things. So you consider this X mu X. Consider homology of this uh, complex. You consider whole from algebra to model its model itself, and this so, so, so x group like given homology of two step complex. And this thinks has a basis x mu plus n, where n is integer, and only n equals zero for n zero get zero map for n equal to zero get non zero map. So it's homology is c plus c it's in one degree. It's like homology of S one mm, and this x group. Okay. Mm. But now when can uh, kind of uh, consider models of open part will be uh, now consider m mu tensoring C of x open. Now let's calculate the same thing for open part. And we get the same story here. 
but complex will be instead of this complex we get this complex uh, if you interest in equation x of kind of open variety and you see this embedding is quasi isomorphism because we get pieces when cohomology do not add yeah so it shows that um, that's uh, going to this good filtration it doesn't change x at least for this guy to itself and also it doesn't change x Uh, when, uh, for example, a real part of lambda i is between 0 and 1, uh, mm, yeah, that's uh, what usually kind of like delin extension uh, 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 does. Uh, you, you, you choose, um, you have various ways to extend your model to, to the computation. And uh, usually, kind of, Delin says, let, let's do an extension such that this, uh, this variable lambda will be states on some strip. It will be some representative of, of, of this uh, shift guy. And this is really essential. So it means that uh, the same will happen uh, after localization. And if you, do, if you uh, don't do this extension uh, uh, with various strip, you, for example, get morphism from lambda mu. Uh, x to mi minus 1 to x to mi whatever. If you consider x from mu mu to mu mu minus n, it will be again commodity of s1. Uh, uh, because uh, you still get the same uh, eigenvalue appearing here. Yeah, so it means that uh, this kind of intricate picture, if you uh, allow shifts by uh, by one, but if you uh, put pick some representative modular shifts, you get exactly equivalence of categories x. So so this uh, extension to computation doesn't change cohomology, and on computified things, these things should be finite dimensional. Yeah, so it's kind of I don't know, <laughs> very detailed understanding of finite dim dimensionality uh, in a um, very classical situation, but I think it's useful. Okay, thank you. <coughs>